Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call aloud you. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash. Devil, honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful and like I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four quarters of the earth as they see the truth and present their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. Shalom. All right. To the very, very few sisters that do listen up as well. And the brother Yarmaya from the great millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming back to you with another lesson. And this lesson is concerning the judgment, you know, that is coming upon this place, which 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 has been um you know needed for for God knows how long, but until the most high completely judge it, we we never know. The scriptures say no man nor at the day nor hour. Uh but but the most high himself. You know, Yahweh Shah had quoted that paraphrase and that, but we do know, you know, through being occupied in prophecies that we are in the end, all right? When the Lord Yahweh Shai died and rose again, that was the beginning of the end. I always say that this is the end of the end, all right? And since we are occupied in prophecies here in Great Millstone, we see that now more than ever. The MOTB is, is here, all right? And, and with all this chaos and all this weird shit that they got going on, especially with these blackouts, um, uh, food shortages, all right? They're gonna they they're gonna really slip that in there, man. And uh, all hell is about to break loose, all right. And the scripture says that if the righteous scarcely be saved, well should the ungodly and the sinner appear, man. But the Lord is really bringing mighty judgments to this place, man. And and you can just feel it, man. All right, man. So uh, I'm gonna just start with this second address. This is second address nine. In verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what we're seeing. With all these things happening simultaneously around the world, whether it be the wedding patterns, whether it be the upworlds, whether it be these... um plagues that's going out no matter what it is this is the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shah moving his spirit throughout the earth because he's about to destroy this place man therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning so this is orchestrated by the most high man esau is not going to get the credit for this your idol is not going to get the credit for this. Nobody is getting the credit for this judgment but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why he said, surely he doing nothing except he reveal his secrets to the servants of the prophets. He said the prophets that were in Jeremiah, he said that was in uh, Amos. In Jeremiah, he said uh, the prophets that were before thee and before me, you know, the prophets that were before me and before thee have prophesied the downfall. You know, we prophesied against the many great kingdoms, man. And we're back today in our lots to do the same thing. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to get the credit for this ass whooping, man. Because these are his prophecies coming to pass. Because he's coming to establish his kingdom on earth. And it ain't a damn thing you can do about it. This is Isaiah 48. In verse uh, 5, it says, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee, lest thou shouldest say, My idol have done them, and my graven image and my molten image have commanded them. So the Lord already said that all this was going to happen from the beginning. And you as an Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, and you all that can hear this word, all right, that may look like the other nations, but go back to our bloodline through your father's seed, you really need to adhere to this message, man. Because the destruction is coming, man. But we also know that this ain't for everybody either. But you, you niggas ain't finna get this credit to the so-called white man. The Lord sent his prophets out here to prophesy, man. And these things are coming to pass right before our eyes. This is verse 6 back in 2nd Edwards 9 and 6. It says, even so the times of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. 
and ending in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. That's why the scripture says, be diligent to make your calling and election sure. That's why the scripture says, faith without works is dead. That's why the scripture says he will search Jerusalem with with, uh, uh, with candles for the men that settled upon their leaves. You have to be up doing the work, man. And that's for the brothers in the know. The scriptures say, whatever thou findest thy hand to do, including myself, the scriptures say, whatever thou findest thy hand to do, do it with all thy might. Because the destruction is coming, man. This is the last chance we got to do this work. And just like the brother Yasharala say, it's the last time Jake got to be wicked. Look, Jake ain't sure stopping on the wickedness, man. You better believe that. The Lord is really about to put his foot in these people's ass, man. Verse 8, it says, Shall be safe, shall be preserved from the said perils. This is already written. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's the elect. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and have cast them away deceitfully, shall dwell in torments. And that's all you niggas out here. Man, I was watching a video the other day. You got this old black woman, of course. No doubt about that. Smoking fucking blunts, blowing the smoke in like a little three-year-old, two-year-old girl fucking mouth, man. Giving her a shotgun, the little girl blowing it back, high as hell. Not even choking. We got to get the fuck out of here, man. And the Lord really got to deal with you niggas, man. Verse 9. Then, I'm going to read 9 again. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have abused my ways, and that have cast them away despitefully and shall dwell in torments for such as have received benefits and have not known me and like i always say from you niggas who up there like 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 you know floyd and, and niggas with uh you know money so to speak in this society the lebrons from you stupid ass welfare recipients man all you niggas have got a benefit or a debt or, or some piece of lifestyle or some piece of uh some reward, all right, that's keeping you away from serving your how about shit, man, I was shot, fine, so be it. I want to see you call on all this shit when you see these blackouts, when you see these famines, all right, when it ain't been no hot water for months, no heat for months. It's fucking zero degrees outside in Chicago, below that sometimes. We really want to see who you niggas going to depend on, man, when your how about shit, man, I was shot, bring his judgment, man. Your blunts ain't going to get it. Your money ain't gonna get it. Your how about shit, man? I was shy about to fucking cook this place, and I can't wait. It says, For such as the end of life, verse 10 again, it says, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that loathe my law, while they had yet liberty, and when yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Death by pain. And that's who these judgments are stored up for. All right? You niggas are really going to be in pain, man. It says, verse 13, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. All right? And that goes back to being diligent and making your calling and election sure. You know, how we know the destruction is coming, but we have to do the work. Be curious how the righteous get saved. What do I have to do to make it up out of this shit? All right, because even Ezra, when you go into it, he says, uh, woe is me, woe is me. What will I do in those days? Which proves reincarnation, but which shows you the spirit of a man, a man of your old boss, shit me, I was shy. What do I have to do to get out of this? Not all you just simple ass niggas sit around with these blanket statements, oh, not my God. Not the God in the Bible. God love everybody. You know, just trying to escape the reality, responsibility, and accountability that it comes to, to, to even deal with the most high. But you niggas, you stupid ass Negroes and Spigros out there, the first niggas to say you got a relationship with the most high and ain't gonna do shit he say. Nothing. Like the Elder Malcolm, he says it all the time. Everybody's a Christian to the Bible come out. You niggas are going to get judged, man. And I can't fucking wait, man. Now, how a rotters are, I, I, I'm not a part of that.
you know, on that side, you know, starting with the apostles and elders on down, you know, I hope we all make it in them chairs. But these niggas got to die, man. They got to, man. They got to, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to end it with this. Let me see. Because niggas don't listen. What's that, Isaiah 65? Yeah, this is Isaiah 65 and 2. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day until rebellious people, which walked in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that have provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice it in gardens and burn it incense upon altars of brick. And that's you niggas and your idols, man. That's you niggas and you fucking idols, man. But hey, call upon them idols, whether it be that Islam, that Taoism, that Fusionism, Shamanism, Shintoism, Confucianism, Confucianism, Catholicism. Call on them motherfuckers when this shit crack. And we're going to see where you be at, man. The scriptures say that the houses shall be rifled and the women shall be ravished and the children shall be dashed into pieces. When this shit going down, call them and see what the fuck happened. That little crusty ass nigga Flavor Flay told you now when one was a joke. And you niggas gonna see it, man. A judgment is here, man. You know, and our, the brothers, we should be we should be doing this work now more than ever, man. Hey, call a lawyer, and, and that starts with me first, of course. But call a lawyer, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and to the hopeful elect. I came out there and do it, Shalom.